Hi and welcome to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at working with date and time in PHP. So we're going to look at how to uh, set the time zone and how to uh, store and display the current date and time. So um, to start with what we need to do is set the time zone in order to use um, date and time and it might already be set in your PHP configuration but to set it yourself you can use a function so I'm just going to add a comment here saying set time zone and to set the time zone I need to write date default so date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set and then in brackets and single quotes I can specify the time zone that I want to use so on the PHP uh, manual there's a list of supported time zones for different continents and countries so as an example, I'm going to go to Australia and find the time zone for Sydney or New South Wales. And they're all listed here. So if I want to use a time zone in Sydney, I can say Australia forward slash Sydney. Okay. If I wanted to go back, I could have a look at America and there's different time zones there. There's quite a few actually. Uh, so for this example, I'm going to set mine to Australia slash Sydney. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to just paste that in there. So I've got Australia slash Sydney in quotations or single quotes and that line with a semicolon. And then what we can do is just simply display the date and time in this time zone. So what we can do is have an echo statement and then use the date function. And what we need to do now is use some mixed different characters that are used um, to format the time and how it's displayed. So on the PHP manual, if we go to the date function on the PHP manual, there's actually a list of different um, date and time formats. So if we want to display the day of the month, two digits with leading zeros, so for example, 01 or 31, then we can just use a lowercase letter d. All right. Uh, if we want to display, uh, there we have a look. Numeric representation of a month without leading zeros, we can use the letter n. Okay. Um, we can also use twelve-hour format of an hour without leading zeros or with leading zeros. So there's different letters here that we can use to format the date and the time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to display the date and in single quotes I'm going to use L which will give the full name of a weekday and then I'm going to put a comma and after that I'm going to put uh, J which will have the day as one or two digits so um, if it's the first day of the month it will just be one if it's uh, the twelfth day of the month, it'll be one two. Okay, so if it's first day, it won't be zero one. It'll just be one. Okay, so J is day is one or two digits. Then I'm going to put a uppercase S, which is the ordinal suffix as two digits. So for example, if it's the tenth, it will have TH after ten. If it's the third, it will have RD after three. Um, if it was the second day of the month, it would have ND after two. Okay, so um, I'm using uppercase S, then I'm going to put a space, I'm going to put F to have the full month, um, full name of the month, all right, space uppercase H for hour in 24 hour time. If I wanted it in 12 hour time, I could use a lowercase H, but I'm going to use an uppercase H at the, mo at the moment, and then I could have a colon and I to show the minutes. Okay, and if I wanted, I could also display seconds by using an, an S. All right, I'm going to end that statement there with a semicolon. I'm going to go into the browser, refresh the page, and that's what I get Thursday, 10th of March, 1808 or 608 p.m. So now if I want to change this from 24 hour time to 12 hour time, I could go back and I could change the H to a lowercase. Uh, H and I could also say at the end there I could say A for lowercase am or pm or I could have uppercase A for uppercase am and pm. 
Okay, so save that, refresh, and now it says 0608 p.m. Okay, so there's um, other ways if we wanted to get rid of this leading zero, there's another way we could do that as well. There's a letter we could use to do that. So it would just say 608 instead of 0608. All right, but that's ba those are basically some of the characters you can use to format the date and time. All right, what I'm going to do is get rid of this now. All right, I've got the date default time zone set function, setting the um, time zone to Australia slash Sydney. And now I'm going to display the date and time with a greeting based on what time of the day it is. And I'm going to create um, a function to do that. Actually, I'm going to create two functions. Okay, firstly, just make a bit of space here. I'll say function and create a function called show date. Okay, and what that will do is return the date in this format. So similar, well, same format as just we what as what we just used a few minutes ago. So uh, we'll start with the weekday, the full name, a comma. We'll have a uh, day as one or two digits. Uh, we'll have the ordinal suffix as two digits. Uh, we'll have a space. Then we'll have the month full name. We'll have hour in 24 hour time, uh, colon, and then minutes. Okay, so something like that. Then we'll end that with a semicolon. So that's the first function which will show the date when we call that function. Second function will be displaying a greeting. So we'll call it greeting. And this greeting will be based on whether it's before 12 or after 12 uh, or midday. So what we'll do is get the current hour. So we'll make a variable called hour, which is equal to date, hour, or h, capital H for hour and 24 hour time. So it's going to get the current hour and store that in a variable called hour. And then we can say if hour is less than 12, so in other words, if it's before midday, we can um, make a variable called greeting and set that to good morning. Okay. Else, if it's after 12, well, it's not before 12, we can say, um, we can make the greeting and set it to just good day. Okay, we could have different conditions there, like if it's between 12 and 4 or something, we could say good day, and then maybe after that we could say good afternoon or good evening or something like that. But we'll just have two different messages here, either good morning or good day. Okay, so that's what we'll do there. And then we'll just say return greeting. Okay, so when the show date function is called, it's going to return the current date and time. And when the greeting function is called, it's going to return the greeting, which will be made up of either good morning or good day based on what time of the day it is. Okay, and then we'll end that function there and we'll just say echo show date. So we'll call that function and then echo. And we might make a new line for this. So we'll use the break tag and we'll say, uh, well actually, yeah, we'll say, greeting. Okay, so we'll call the greeting function. So it'll show the date, make a new line, and show the greeting. And when I say show the date, oh, I mean show the date and the time. Okay, so that's it. I'll save that. We'll go and run Chrome. We'll run that file in Chrome. And there we go. It says Thursday, 10th of March, 612, 1812. Good day. Okay, um, so if the time was six in the morning, then it would say good morning. Okay, but it's currently after midday, so it's just saying good day. All right, so that's um, basically how to work with date and time in PHP. Um, with this video, I'm going to, um, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll post a link to the tutorial. If you're watching on Komaha, I'll um, post a table um, which will have all of those different uh, date and time formats as well as a link to the PHP manual where you can get the different uh, time zones to use. All right, but that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.